All right, this is a quick video on how to take off your mower blades and sharpen them on a Murray 40 inch riding mower. I will say as a plug to Murray, uh, I've had this riding lawn mower, God, when I get this, it's over 20 years old. It might be 25 years old, like late 90s. Uh, this is a great riding lawn mower. So if you keep it maintained, it'll last a long time. Uh, but you have to keep the blades sharpened and I recommend, it's real windy out here, I hope you can hear me. Um, you have to keep the blades sharpened. I sharpen them once or twice a season. It's just for my home lawn personal use. And I've seen some videos where uh, you don't have to drop the entire deck out to pull the blades off. And you don't need an angle grinder, you can use a file. Uh, it's pretty easy to drop the blade, uh, to take the blade off. Uh, what you gotta do is first lift up on the mower and you don't need a, a hydraulic, you can just lift like this and you put two jacks, these are two car jacks, these are, you know, get these jacks anywhere. So once you have the uh, deck propped up where you can get underneath there, you're gonna need I went ahead and bought a second. I had a, this is a 7 8 wrench, and I just bought two of them because you have to hold the top and bottom to unscrew the nut that keeps the blade on. And it was worth just buying a second wrench because you save a lot of money doing this by yourself. Um, what you have to do, the tricky part is, you have to pull the nut on the top here, so you lock that in with this wrench, and then at the same time on the bottom, you put this over the nut on the bottom, and you unscrew it, and counterclockwise is what turns it off. So, once you have the blade, just so you know, the this nut and washer and the lock one, oh, this guy, um, this just goes on here like this. And so use the box end of the wrench and you can see that perfectly fits the nut. And that's what holds the blade on. So when you unscrew this, put your hand underneath and catch the blade when it comes off. And the lawnmower blade looks like this. And there's a few things you want to inspect. So first is you want to just give it a visual look and make sure it's not bent or damaged really bad. If it's really damaged bad, you have to go to your local store, hardware store, mower store, and buy uh, new blades, or you can order them online. But in general, if you don't hit any big rocks or branches in your yard, a blade should last a long time. And once you have this off, you can sharpen these edges with a file. I'll show you that next. If you have a vice grip, that's the better way to sharpen these, but if you don't, you can actually um, find a place where you can put your foot like a ledge or a step somewhere, like put your foot down here and then use the file to sharpen the edge here. Uh, that's not the best way, but if you don't have a vice grip, I recommend it's worth it to buy a vice grip too. So, uh, sorry, um, not vice grip. Uh, oh shit. Anyway, uh, what was I gonna say now? When you install it, make sure when you put it back on, the blades are on the bottom. So when it rotates, this is where it cuts the grass. Don't install it like this with the blades up high because it won't cut grass. You want to make sure it's installed like this. On the next video clip, let me show you how I sharpen them real quick. So if you have a vise to put your blade in, that works best, but you don't have to do this uh, when you just get a, this is a basic file, you can get this file at any hardware store, just a basic, you know, good size file that fits in your hand. And when you sharpen the blades, you want to go in the direction here, and you don't want to sharpen too much like this, because that could focus, uh, you could unevenly sharpen it that way. So you want to go at a bit of an angle, and just sharpen them this way. Now what I also do is, if they got a little bit of damage on the back side, you can lightly just kind of get burrs or some imperfections out this way on the underside. But you want to make sure that 
this edge is consistent on the angle and flat. Uh, you should you should sharpen this until you feel it. Uh, doesn't have to be like a razor sharp, but you should feel a bit of sharpness uh, before you finish filing this down. So try to you know get this as even as possible. You don't want bumps or lumps in here. Try to get it even and just enough where you can feel a little bit of sharpness and that'll last you for you know a good many months of cutting grass and really that's it there's nothing else to it so you don't have to drop your deck you don't have to use a gr I have an angle grinder you don't <laughs> I actually prefer not to use an angle grinder because when you're on a with an angle grinder if you screw up those things like you could mess up your blade if you're not paying attention or don't do it right with a file it takes some time, not that much time, but it takes a little more time. And so you have more control over how you sharpen the edge and get it to where you want it. And it's less chance of screwing something up or damaging the blade with a file versus an angle grinder. I hope this was helpful for you. And to wrap this video up real quick, again, if you don't have a mounted vise, you can still sharpen your blades. If you have like a step, there's lots of places around the house. This is actually my garage. I got like a little step here and just lay the mower blade down like that and just hold it with your foot. Again, this is not the best way or recommended way, but if you want to sharpen your blades, this is better than running dull blades. And then go ahead and get down low and just make sure this is the sharp edge here and just just sharpen your blade that way and just check the progress as you go and this will give you a good angle take a little bit longer than having a vise but this will do it you don't have to have fancy tools to take off your mower blades and sharpen them you don't need an angle grinder you don't have to drop the whole deck you don't need an automatic drill. You can just use a file and two sets of wrenches that I showed you earlier that are 7 8 inch, at least for the Murray. I'm sure other riding lawnmowers are similar. Uh, good luck and good mowing out there.